Greetings fellow backers, this is Sir6 here with helping you understand thrust in 3.5. Today I'll be showing a brief overview on the throttle itself, explaining what type of thrusters are on your ship and their roles, and defining a retro burn and what it means to you. For my subscribers, I ask that you please share this with anyone who is in need of assistance. We need to retain players new and old, regardless if they solely want a PvP or Care Bear gameplay experience. Let's not let them get discouraged. 3.5 is around the corner for the rest of the community to get their hands on, and I want people to be able to fly in confidence. Now, with that being said, here is what you need to know. Thrust is now indicated on the HUD as a combined system, composing of the thrust limiter, which is an adjustable green bar that is altered with your scroll wheel, and the SCM line, which is a red line that is fixed to the throttle bar itself. This line represents the maximum amount of thrust you can give the engine without it starting to redline. Once it starts to redline, your engine is working harder than usual and it's more prone to overheating. The throttle limiter allows you to give a certain amount of engine power to the thrusters. The higher the bar is, the more thrust you will give to the engines. In return, your ship will fly to a certain speed that is relative to the direction of thrust you used. So. If your ship is stationary and you decide to set the throttle limiter to 50% and strafe left, your ship's thrusters will give engine power to the desired direction you want your ship to go to. This works in all six directions. When you do not request forward thrust by pressing W, your ship uses the retro thrusters to move the ship. These thrusters are reactive thrusters, allowing you to roll, pitch, and yaw. They are also significantly weaker compared to your main thruster, that being your engine. Once your ship is moving in the desired direction, you can strafe the opposite direction to bleed off your speed, and eventually you will start strafing the opposite direction. Or you can retro burn. A retro burn is means of firing rockets in the opposite direction from the way they were fired to push the ship forward. This thrust in the opposite direction makes resistance to the ship's movement and slows the ship down. Eventually, your ship will deaccelerate and then accelerate in the opposite direction. There you go, short and sweet. If the video is helpful, feel free to like it. And once again, please share it with others to get the information out. And thank you for stopping on by. But till next time, fellow citizens, I will see you on the flip side.